Dum 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 dum. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, so this is the conch, and I am here with uh, the toy box. Um, so I was a very naughty boy the other day, and I went to Frank and Sons, and I I decided to buy my first sideshow collectibles figure. And since I'm completely infatuated with Daisy Ridley, um, Daisy, I love you. If you want to get married, hit me up. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I ended up getting her, uh, her figure. Um, so, this is the unboxing. Sideshow Collectibles, Ray, and BB-8. So, here we go. Uh, Alright, what do we got here? This box is really nice. I won't lie. It's it's really it's like a gorgeous box. And then we have this gorgeous cover here. All right. Look, there's my wife, future wife, Daisy Ridley. Hello. Um, all right. Taking off the cover. All right. There she is. So one of the beautiful things about these figures, um, now me, those who know me, I collect a lot of figures. And I'm trying not to collect too many anymore. I'm trying to go for like the nicer ones and stop getting all the smaller ones. So we got some uh, some information so we can do the different sides of Ray. So we can do the uh, just the regular Ray here. We can do the the Desert Ray, which is awesome. Uh, it comes with all the accessories, and then just got breakdowns of uh, taking off the hands. And Sideshow has various hands and various things that you can put on the character, so they give you instructions on how to do it all, so you don't. You don't break the stuff. Um, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out of the other side of the box here. Okay, okay. And then we have this other protective plastic sheath over here. Popping this guy off. All right. Ooh, that's pretty. So, um, all right. Let's take this neck brace off of her. So here's the figure. Um, Sideshow does an amazing job too of covering up the joints. So since we have the joint cover up, you can't really see it. So the, the figure looks pretty whole. Their movement's like great. Like it's just like fluid movement here. Oops, sorry. But uh, yeah, so this is awesome. Uh, all the fabric's like pretty much legit. Like this is, this feels like lap, uh, Dunlap or something like that. Um, so all the skin's covered, the hands are covered. The hands actually come off here. And look at that face, it looks like Daisy. Oh, and the eyes glisten too, I don't know if you guys can see that. You got it a little bit right there, yeah. It's pretty gnarly, but the facial, you know, this whole nine yards is amazing. Um, it's pretty light, but um, yeah, let's see what else we got in here. I'll put her side over here, actually. So I can still see her. So we got BB-8 in here, let's pull BB out. God, I love the BB. Oh, let's get his head out of here first. Uh, um, looks like his BB stuck. I was gonna use other skills. That's not working. Okay, well here's his head. <laughs> let's go ahead and actually see if this will be able to pop out a little bit without dropping some of the other stuff. So this is weighted. Um, there's actually a magnet in here, and that magnetizes on. So this is an awesome thing here. You turn it, the head actually goes, and it makes kind of the rotating noise that BB does. So that's pretty awesome. BB-8. It's awesome too, because the paint job's pretty crazy. Like they, they didn't just make it all white. They actually have a little bit of a dirty hint of everything on here, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm really digging that. Does it does it sound weighted? Let's see. It's a little weighted. Leans forward. Uh, looks like this is the uh, desert pack here. So we have the the backpack here. Uh, we have one of the uh, the little uh, extra little cloth parts that goes over the scarf. And then we actually have the other scarf that goes around her neck that uh, covers her face. Um, so they put that in really nice packaging. But this actually looks really like legitimately like leather. That's pretty gnarly. And all these little pieces come out too. So there's that the little tool she carries around. 
Um, so that's pretty gnarly. I'm digging that. Um, the other thing here is down here, I'm not going to pull any of them out. Well, I'll go here I'll pull one out. You have the various handsets. So you have the ones that actually go at the desert uniform, uh, the various different ones. What they try to do is actually find key poses that you see within the characters in the movie, and you can actually like pose them like that. So um, they give you all those hands. Um, they give you lightsaber hands because they gave me a lightsaber. Alright, I won't get too into it. Um, <laughs> Alright, we have our arm guard over here for the desert uniform. Uh, let's see. So they, uh, it's cool too. They put the the bungee in here, so it's actually this material is amazing. Like they, I'm pretty sure it's all 3D printed, but the material they use is just freaking awesome. Um, let's see, we've got our goggles right here, and there's actual material so you can see through it. Like it's actual see through. Like I'm pretty sure that if you get the the oop, the light in there just right, you probably still even see the the eyes. And then we have our staff. This thing's freaking huge. It's almost as tall as her. I actually think it's taller. That's awesome. And Zen, there's a lot of tools and stuff over here. I believe one of these compartments actually goes into BB-8. Yeah, this is the compartment where, um, so, let me see here. This is a cool thing too that I really liked about it. I believe one of these guys, can, yeah, there it is. This guy comes off. And so you can actually put this in. So it's like when he was handing him the uh, the little flash drive to get um, to Luke Skywalker. And um, I know his antennas are somewhere in there. And there's batteries, so something tells me something might light up on BB-8 or something. I'm not sure, but there's batteries that go into BB-8's head. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, the other thing I like about Sideshow Collectibles is they're aware that sometimes, you know, when you're trying to put these hands on due to excitement, um, you lose, you can probably break the joints. So they actually give you extra joint pieces. Um, if you're getting a little too rough with it, but, uh, that was pretty awesome. And I just like the little added accessories that they do for that to give scenes that you really enjoyed in the movie. Um, let's see. It's not, oh, the base. The base is pretty cool too. They made the base, um, with the Rebel Alliance logo on it. And they give you the sand dune too to go with it. And they give you a little, uh, um, so there's a sand dune. This, this goes right on it on the octagon here, like that. And then we also have, um, this is the stand. This is, I have a name for this. Uh, so all the, some of the toy collectors they do, they call it like the, uh, I think they call it the gooch stand because it like, it goes right kind of between the legs actually to hold them up. Um, looks like you can go higher. Actually right between the arms maybe. That'd be awesome if it did that too. But uh, yeah guys, so. This is the unboxing of my first Sideshow Collectibles figure. Um, I am saving up to get the Avengers Captain America because I've been dying for a legitimate Captain America figure. And that one seems to be one of the best to come out. So I'll give you Ray again here. There's Ray. Ray she's so crazy. Here. If I had the lightsaber, I'd just be like, here, she's handing it to you. <laughs> Um, but, uh, look for the next one. Um, I don't know when I'm getting that cap, hopefully soon. And that's all I got for you guys. So that's the unboxing of the Sideshow Collectibles, Ray and BB-8. Um, I know some people think it's crazy to spend that much on figures, but, you know, I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, guys, take care. Toy box, break room blitz, like, subscribe, watch any of the videos. We've got a lot, a lot of awesome content on there, so... I'm always, always looking for feedback. Thanks, guys. Ow.